Hello, good afternoon once again to the Shins, and this is again Teacher Anna, <clears throat> your learning partner. Now today we are going to learn uh, unit number three. So in the previous page or in the previous lessons, we have learned about unit one and unit two. I mean lesson one and lesson two for unit one and unit two. Now let's go to unit three. So in unit three, we are going to learn first about positive and negative effects of religion. So in everything, guys, in every decision and every ideals that you are going to choose, always remember there is a positive and negative effects on it. Now let's go. Let's try to know more about it. So let's go. Let's have... Uh, let's have the next page. So let's have the intended, intended learning outcomes. So at the end of the unit, you're expected to first identify the different origin of religion. Second, differentiate the culture of religion in the world. And third, explain the influence of geography in religion and discuss its effect. So, this one is our intended learning outcomes for this unit or for this lecture. So, let's go. Let's try to have the introduction. So, bakit ba nagkakaroon ng positive and negative side of religion? So, it is because of this one. <clears throat> so we have miscommunication, creation of barriers, and dysfunctional adaptation behavior are all included in the negative effect of religion. <clears throat> On the other side, the positive effects of religion include encourages such beneficial effects on mental health as less depression, more self-esteem, and greater family and marital happiness. So in this chapter, guys, you will learn to positive and negative effects of religion, harmful outcomes of religion, and evidence that religion brought about an event in history. <clears throat> now, let's him move forward to the next one. So let's try to know about the positive side of religion. So as you can see here in the picture, guys, it, it comes from the people or leaders of the different religion. So it says here, how lucky that of so many religions in existence, I had been raised. I'm the only religion that tells the truth. So all the religions, guys, uh, talk about this one. And they always claim that they are the truth and nothing but the last. So let's talk about the positive side of it. So we humans have a need to make a sense of our experiences in and out of the world in which we live. Science, philosophy, and religion are some ways through which we do this, starting with human experiences, both objective and subjective, we seek to understand causes and effects and their significance of our lives. So, stemming from the search of meaning, any particular religion is culturally evolved system in which the persons involved develop and share common understanding, beliefs and practices and form community bonds of identity and support. So that's why many religions claim a mentor who is revered and remembered as an exemplar for their beliefs, values, and practices. So, itong pinaka <clears throat> unang positive side ng religion, guys, is like uh, you are preserving your culture, you are uh, preserving who you are, and you are the one who share the common understanding. So it means merong unity yung isang grupo. It is because they have a common understanding. They have common beliefs and practices. So di ba, kapag yung mga friends mo, yung mga kasundo mo, most likely you have the same, the same na gituuhan, the same na understanding, and the same na practices because of that. But 
<clears throat> also, in religion, it really exists. So, ito yung maganda kasi wala siyang uh, kanang lang halo na mga negative thoughts. Ang maganda sa kanya is like, you conquer all things all together and you have unity because you have the same understanding, you have the same beliefs and practices. So, that is the first one. And then, yung mga religious leader, they're also the one who will be your mentor to be a good or a better person or a better version of yourself. <clears throat> Pangalawa na uh, positive side of religion, guys, the belief provide meanings of life and death and guidance in relationship and behavior. So, ito din yung sumba na nato sa life and death. There is also the guide within the religion, when it comes to religion, I mean relationship and behavior. So, mo ni siya ang mga sumpa na dapat ito sundun nga mga sa to ang mga relationship like obey your parents for the Lord for this is right, just like that. So, meaning, hinapreserve niya ang nindot nga relationship it is because it is being teached there the things that you should do in your relationship just like respect with your parents next is behaviors yeah this is really true because as christian we need to stay uh behaviorally i know correct like we really do and we really respect the ten commandments so that's why we have very good behavior behavior because of the religion so beliefs are expressed in the language of a particular culture, including the available, believable. So nakita na to, nga nag, na, na siya peace and unity tungod kay we respect each other because of the good relationship and a good behavior. So may mo siyang available, believable. Meaning, nindot siya and then available siya uh, it is because it has a result. Okay? So, of the particular age of our time, from the perspective of geography, history, gender, age, rules, and rules, as well as scientific knowledge of that time. So, that is also very important. So, kanang nasadihan na po ni siya, it is because of religion natin maayong nga pamatasan o maayong nga relationship. Third is the religious rituals not only aid the understanding of beliefs, but also in facilitating new religious experiences in solitude <coughs> or in community. So, anindot po ni guys, it is because ato ang mga rituals na instead ito mga negative things o mga daot ang ato ang pambuhaton because of the religious rituals na ito ang ginabuhat ano siya, madivert ang ato ang attention and then we also experience religious experiences so nga magkuan sa ito, magmol sa ito uh, and then less depression ito mga negative nga thoughts is mga wala because of it because of the positive solitude sa religion and even in community like for example in church you you talk with each other if you have problems you share thoughts about each other and you are being helped by your pastor with the word of god para maka experience ka sa <clears throat> sa lab sa ginoo or religious experiences so at its best a religion can provide the following so first a religion guys magbigay ng meaning purpose, and hope based on the beliefs and values often expressed in myths and stories. Ito yung matuturo sa atin. At ito yung magbibigay ng meaning, purpose, and hope sa ating buhay. And even in our beliefs and values. Pangalawa guys, we have community gathering for rituals of worship and symbolic celebration of religious holiday. So, because of this, guys, meron tayong mga holidays, meron tayong mga community gathering, just like Pasco, for rituals and Thanksgiving, for non-Catholic, and then symbolic celebration, just like mga <coughs> kadayawan, mga panang best, uh, panambenga festivals. So, those festivals, so instead na mga negative or mga bad things at mahimo, so, why not? convert into good things like 
the community gathering for rituals. Third is personal identity as part of a group with similar rural beliefs or views, <clears throat> values, practices, and lifestyles, relationship of commitment to giving support and caring critic to one another. So this is also very important, guys. It is because <clears throat> this also will serve as the self-actualization, the basa Maslow, Maslow's, ano, uh, hierarchy of needs, yung number one is self-actualization. So, nakakatulong dito yung religion kasi malalaman mo yung personal identity mo. Because you are in a group with uh, similar worldviews, similar beliefs, similar values, similar practices, and lifestyle. Fourth is opportunities in community to identify and provide needed action and service to meet needs of the wider community and the world. So, ito din yung nagbibigay sa atin ng opportunities. So, just like when you are in a very rich community of <clears throat> decons, pastors, religious leaders, so, sila din yung magbibigay sa iyo na identity. I mean, an opportunity. Like, for example, in a given corporation, kung ang tagiaan na is a Christian niya, malaman niya, ah, Christian ni, ka ba naman niya sa church? So, mo niya siya, ito yung priority ng makatrabaho. So, that's why it is also, it also gives opportunities in community. We also have rituals and practices, experiences in community for life transitions, a birth commitment, forgiveness, and that. So, for number five, guys, we also have the rituals and practices, experiences. So, anong ibig sabihin nito? So, dito din guys, malalaman natin, <clears throat> nakakatulong ang religious sector or religion. It is because of the different things that we learn within the community of believers. <laughs> So, ito yung magbibigay sa atin ng mga iba't ibang rituals, uh, iba't ibang good practices and good experiences para maging mabuti tayong citizen ng mamamayan. And then, <clears throat> next is educational opportunities to uh, providing history and understanding of religious and cultural traditions and belief translation of religious symbols, metaphors, and language into contemporary experiences and language. So, maganda din dito is you will also have educational opportunities. So, maraming mga religious sector or religious group na pinapaaral nila yung mga youth nila or yung, uh, yung simbahan mismo ang nagafan sa ilang education. And then, ang input is like, uh, ang simbahan po ang nagatukod, nagatukod sila og uh, businesses, schools, para mapaiskwela nila ang ilang mga kauban sa simbahan. Next is guidance for living or right relationship with other persons. So maganda din sa religion guys is this one will be the our guide for living right relationship. Uh, sama sa yung ganina, like respect one another, that is in the Bible. Sa so, pagrespeto sa tong parents. So, out of that, we will have a right relationship. <clears throat> now, let's go to the negative impact of religion. Okay, so a lot of uh, philosophers say that the negative impact of religion and society is like the religious war. So, merong mga away, debate, hindi pagkakaintindihan, miscommunications, barriers, because of religion. So, the coming religious war. So, ito din yung isa sa mga negative impact of religion. But actually, there are a lot also of negative impact of religion. So, for as long as humans have had the ability to reason, they have attributed the natural phenomenon and the world around them to deities, spirits, and supernatural forces. 
religion has played a huge role in the development for society and civilizations throughout the history. It has been a guide for morals and a shaper of principles. So, ito yung maganda sa religion, guys. Pero, tungod ani nga mga advantages, we have come into the negative impact. So, certainly, the most not notable negative impact on society is religious wars. Yeah, religious wars ang pinakauna nga negative impact. So, just like uh, in the past age, kasi they are really into this religion na gusto nila nga ma ano, <clears throat> madoktrinahan ang iba't ibang tribe and then the tribe would not believe in any kanang gods and goddesses but to their religion. So, tungod ana, sa unang panahon, makaingontang ang isang country is a very powerful country and a super country if they have ano, a lot of followers for their religion. So, throughout recorded history, more wars have been waged in the name of religion than any other reason. In this century alone, we have been several wars fought over religion in Europe and Middle East, Africa, Asia, and South America. Another well-known negative impact of religion is discrimination. So, most likely, in a, in a society nga full of Christians, parang iba sa atin yung mga Muslims. And then, in a society that is full of Muslims, parang iba talaga sa kanila yung Kristiyano. Parang ikaw lang ang nasagol ba? Out of the white blemishes of a band paper, kanang ikaw lang ang nasagol nga block. So, most likely, you will be discriminated because of your religion. So, which is wrong or a negative impact of religion? So, religious discrimination has been around as long as religion itself and continues today in places all around the world. Directly after the terrorist attack in 2001, religious discrimination complaints to the Equal Employment Opportunities Commission in the United States rose 20%. These complaints were mainly in the form of Muslims who felt they were being persecuted in the wake of the attacks. So, one po na siyang problema, no? Because when a corporation is uh, solely owned by a certain religion, kapag may mga apply na mga tao na hindi nila kaalyansa, hindi nila ka-religion, so he or she will be discriminated. Dili siya ma-hire. So, just like in a Catholic school, in a prefer yun nila nga, ang musulod sila is a, a very good Catholic people. So, that's why kung na ay mga lain nga denominations ang musulod sa ana nga uh, lugar or ana nga organizations, he or she will be discriminated. So, maybe some, but some of it, maybe not. Okay, so after the British... Uh, Relinquish control of the country, the Catholics, who were the majority in the country, gained heretofore. So, most likely, guys, tungod sa Catholic, so, tungod kay ang ilahang ang kanang a country or kanang a uh, religion is held by the superpowers, just like Spain. So, most likely, taghan ka ayo ang mga Catholics. So, majority in the country and even in the other countries are Catholics. So, mapuna siya ang iyahang negative things. So, you can experience discrimination because of religion. We also have religious wars, which is not good. <clears throat> and we also have like major control because you are the very person or the very group that is taghan ananga. Lugar. Now, let's go to the next one. So, let's try to know about mm, religion is harmful to society. So, what do you think, guys? Will religion help or hinder? So, most of the philosophers say, oh, religion 
is good for society. But some of the philosopher would say, oh no, religion is very bad for our society. So let's try to hear and weigh them. So first, religion is good for society because it gives desperate people hope. So katong mga desperado ng mga tao is not so like hope. And then second, offers a community uh, offers a sense of community. So ito yung magbibigay uh, sa atin ng sense of community kasi mag-unite tayo kasi iisa yung pinaniniwalaan natin. <clears throat> And then it also offers or instills an ethical code. So because we are doing our best to, for, to fulfill the will of God to obey the Ten Commandments, to obey the Two Commandments or the New Ten, New Two Commandments. So that's why uh, it instills an ethical code. So meaning we are respectful because we are religious people. We are loving or almost we have all the values in the world. It is because of the good religion that we have. Next is it also offers comforting tools. So that's why nga kapag religious and spiritual ang isa katao is like hindi siya maka-experience of depression. So most likely he or she will be comforted by the word of God, by the brothers and sisters in Christ and a lot more because of good religion. Now, why is it bad for the society? So let's hear the bad side. So first, it promotes bad public policy. So most likely, guys, um, ang naka, hindi likod maayuani is, napod siya bad public policy. So meaning, just for example, if that country is a, a Catholic country, so gusto gud niya nga, oh, wala jay dapat malahi, dapat na adere, tanan Catholic. So, Sometimes, when you are too much of religious or you are too much of religion, makabuhat ka og mga dilimayong nga law. So just like in the old age, uh, when you read the Bible, ginapatay nila ang mga Christian because they doesn't believe in Christ. Okay? So that's why it promotes but public policy. Second, it promotes patriarch patriarchal hierarchy. So... So, unang panahon mang good, when you read the Bible, ang pinakakusagan jud o ang mga kuan ng mga tao is lalaki. So, meaning, ang lalaki ang dapat mag-dominate, dili ang babae. So, in that, because uh, because it is a patriarchal hierarchy, it results to oppresses women. So, dili man po tanan nga, ano, lalaki maayo, dili man tanan lalaki buutan, dili tanan lalaki respectful. So that's why some of them oppresses women. Nagakulata, naga rape, which is very bad for society. So all of us is all of us are equal. So always remember that class. And it also teaches dangerous, misleading, and wasteful sex education. So some of the religion mong good put class is like Dapat i-offer na ito virginity sa itong leader. Oh my God. So that would be, basing dili sila gusto nga <coughs> makikilawa sa ilang leader. <coughs> Pugo sila. It is because of mo na ilang ginatuuhan sa ilahang religion. So that's why it teaches dangerous. So we also have misleading. So napo yung mga uban nga religion like Ano, kanang ginabuya ila mga anak. Like for example, if these leaders are very rich and these leaders are also rich or they need to uh, join the riches and then by the marriage of their children. So which is also misleading. Sa unang panahon, tabo na siya, it is because ano, limited lang ang tao sa unang panahon. Pero karon it is not. So we need to, ano, kanang exercise our freedom, and then choose the person that we love that we should marry. And then wasteful. So, mabuti siya, no, kay? Mm. There are a lot of religion nga, bad put ang ginabuhat when it comes to sex education. So, para sa ilaha, like, kanang 
dapat ang virginity is dapat mahatagan ni mo sa imuhang or sa lalaki ng imo pakaslan so that's why in the religion ilahaju lang ginagrab sila lagi nang ginatudlo sa mga uh, small children sa mga babae so that's why kung maano sila marip sila magpakamatay it is because of that so sa high wasteful po siya although the intention is good but the result is bad so sometimes it also leads bad things kana mga mga good intention nato and then uh, it also has wasteful sex education dili maayo so that's why we need to be very careful in everything that we do and in everything that we decide. So, religion, when considered overall, guys, may cause more harm in society. And for individuals, than the benefits it produces. So, always remember, not religion or religious belief may result in all. So, dili lang, dili lang ang religion ang solusyon nga manindot ang kalibutan. Pero, napagod na siya mga negative things. So, not every religion or religious belief may result in all or even any of these harms. Many of these problems are or would be present in absence of religion and some are even systematic society. Therefore, harm includes that which that cause religion as well as harm aggravated by religion. By opposing views is that religious belief is beneficial to society overall. So sometimes po, mm, because ka nang, usay po ng tao ba, pag maghimu ng leader, pag maangko na niya tanan, kung siya na nasa babaw, kay mag makalimot, makalimot nga, mahimu, makipagkapwa tao, a good example. So makalimot no, because nitlako na ang ulo. So, that is very bad. So that's why it would result to opposing. Kanang, mang oppose na lang kaglaing tao, it is because you are in a very high status, which is wrong. So that's why, according to Voltaire, Christianity is the most ridiculous, the most absurd and bloody religion that has ever infected the world. So, Mm, dili po na to siya ma. See, see, it is because some of it or some of the uh, religious group and even the Christianity is na siya mga negative na practices which is not acceptable in human mind. Also, according to Voltaire, uh, Christianity is most admirably adapted to the training of slaves, to the perpetuation of a slave society, in short, to the very conditions confronting us today, indeed never could society have degenerated to its present appealing, appalling stage. Uh, if not for the assistance of Christianity, Christianity is the conspiracy of ignorance against reason, of darkness against light, of submission and slavery against independence and freedom. Of the denial of strength and beauty against the affirmation of joy and glory of life. So, parang, I don't know, parang ATS din si Voltaire. So, but meron din namang sense ang kanyang sinasabi, guys. So, when we say Christianity daw is admirable, really it is admirable. Pero, kung ginatrain na ka para mahimu slaves just like other religion na pabaligya, oh, pamaligya mo ginani, pagtrabaho mo ginani, and then remit mo ginani. May mo na po kang slave. Wala na kay decision. Wala na kay freedom. And then, <clears throat> kanang perpetuation of slave society. Like, ang lang purpose is not just to serve God, but also to dominate. Kanang may mo silang kuan ba leader. May mo silang dominated country or dominated places. So, mo po na siya ang negative. And then, in short, to the very conditions confronting us today, indeed, never could society have degenerated to its present appalling stage. So sometimes then, let the society grow. Hindi pwede na ka ng kontrolo na to tanan. And then, kawal po siya. Dapat everything would be based in a very good reason, not just for ignorance. 
ah, tungod na si nani na ni besid na pamatud na sa science sa mao ni siya ang reason. Mo ju insist it is because of their your religious belief. So sometimes mahimo na putang bulok tungod ana. And then of darkness against light. So sometimes kana mga negative na day nato nga kinabuhat sa religious or religious beliefs and practices nato. Dili na nato siya makita as negative or anang ano darkness pa against the light meaning wala na to na kita nga kuha na di ay naka samok na ta sa balao naka daot sa society so sometimes ina na ang religion so that's why you need to be very careful and then submission and slavery against independence and freedom so ito yun din yung sinasabi ko kanina ang um, problema is like magiging slave ka na so well, mag, dili na ka maka-decide kung dili ka mangutana sa imong pastor, sa inyong leader. And then wala na po kay freedom because you are kanang corrupted nga dapat dili pwede ni, dapat dili pwede ni, dapat dili pwede ni. So wala na po kay freedom, which is also wrong. And then uh, denial of strength and beauty. <clears throat> Makalimot na po ka kang gwapa ka, ikaw mas gwapa sa ilaha. It is because you are very humble and then on kanang na change your perceptions like everything everyone is beautiful basic pangit kay batasan beautiful gihapon mona siya ang negative pod and then against the affirmation of joy and glory of life so sometimes <clears throat> like if you do not do this or you are not intelligent you are not worshipper you are not good in a no kana napay napay reason ba or napay kana dapat kay atin para malipay ka sometimes it is also wrong in that religion mali na siya sa religion nga dapat napakay ma attain para mahapi ka so we also have glory of life so most likely dili ka kuan kay na kay nabuhat na sa lain anin ana but always remember guys that we are also entitled to forgiveness so Dili na end of the world to kaya nakabuhat ka sa la. So you need to do your best to seek forgiveness and to ask God to forgive you. So that's why makaingon po ng uban nga mga philosopher nga buang-buang absurdities. Absurd kay na yun ana nga mga beliefs. So sometimes it is also correct but sometimes we really love God and we really love and respect our religion. That's why <clears throat> sometimes kabuhatag mga absurd nga butang. But always remember guys, if you think uh, of living uh, in a very good life of Christianity, so you need to always remember the Ten Commandments, the new command, uh, two commandments like to love God, <clears throat> uh, kanang na mas labaw pa sa mong kaugalingon and to love others just like as you love yourself. So, kung imuha na siya, pero minti yun na, uh, kung kanya akong desisyon, ma-exercise ba rin ako? So, kung kanya po na akong desisyon, ma-exercise ba rin ako? So, ina na siya. Weighing lang siya, guys. So, actually, the right and wrong is like when you are weighing something that is advantageous not only for your sake but for the sake of many. Okay? So, dili lang una-unaon lang na ito pero maninta itong sarili kung dili magunahon na punta sa ito ang isig ka tao. So, always remember to exercise, makadiyos, makatao, makakalikasan, at makabansa. And always remember to make your parents proud. Thank you so much for listening to this show. So, I hope you learned a lot from our lessons. Have a great day and see you again. Good night and sweet dreams. Bye. See you in your assessment. So, please do your best. Bye, traditions.